The power of radio is in your hands. You can play. You, you, you can pause. Rewind. You can download. It's Vicky Lonia Radio. Solely for your listening pleasure. You are listening to your number one online edutainment radio. Good afternoon, people. We are back on Fashion Talk. Uh, today's Fashion Talk is just going to be unlike every other Fashion Talk we've actually usually had. Today's own is amazing. I have got a lot lined out for us. Unlike the other fashion we usually talk about, today's own is like super weird. I mean, has fashion gone wrong? Have we taken fashion too far? Well, guess what? We're about to find out. Okay, okay. Before I begin to roll all the cards on the table, I want to say good afternoon to every single person who's listening to me right now and to the people who are gonna be listening to me later. Welcome to Vic Colonial Radio Station your number one online radio station edutainment radio station that's solely out for your listening pleasure well 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 okay okay we're back on today's show and it's your favorite host your presenter fluxy fashionable fluxy okay all right okay okay what do i have for us today well i will be talking about a few things on fashion obviously it's gonna be fashion today's fashion topic says has fashion gone wrong exactly has fashion gone wrong have we taken fashion too far i mean you need to see the outfits some persons wear these days it's extremely out of the chapter i mean it's not even what we were expecting them to wear well i have like five counts down today for us on fashion like on fashion on fashion runway we know that there is this clothes they put up and they wear and we are like would people actually wear this clothes in real life or are they just showing it us showing it to us like they are clothes but they are not clothes you can actually wear hmm let's just keep that question after we are done talking about fashion today then we'll review it and see if our questions have been answered well like i said earlier i have five countdown today on weird fashion outfits like reasons why you should actually say has fashion gone wrong number one we are talking about ripped stockings like if you watch one of these um fashion runways on television you get to find out that some of the outfits they wear like there is one that actually the girl was was on a gown and then she was putting on ripped stockings and when i say ripped stockings you know those kind of net net um what do i call it now net jeggings or net stockings that looks like you gave it to somebody of oversized to wear the person wore it and tore it and then threw it to the dogs to eat the dog scratched it all over and also you now try wearing it and probably before you wore it your little brother or sister used it to clean floor you know those kind of stuff and then you now wear it in fashion and tell someone you should really really blend into my fashion way this is raining fashion seriously ripped stockings wearing ripped stockings <laughs> i don't know it makes someone look like they lost their brain somewhere else and they didn't know what they were wearing on it's way over the line like seriously way over the line it make me say i mean it gets me saying i was so worried when i ripped my last pair of jeans like people make money with this people make money with ripping their jeans and selling it like really that is a weird fashion like our number one weird fashion wearing ripped stockings like i can understand ripped jeans but i cannot understand ripped stockings ripped stockings is like tearing a net and telling yourself mosquito is not going to come in well just wait 
until you sleep and wake up the next morning, you see mosquitoes all over your body. I mean, they are bites, literally not themselves. You now get to find out that leaving your nets, even when it's been torn upside and doesn't, in, it even invites the mosquito right there. So, first of all, on our countdown is rib stockings. It is super crazy. It is super weird. It gives you the statement like, I was so worried when I ripped my last pair of, pair of stockings or pair of jeans. I mean, people actually make money from this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. Ripped stockings is a weird outfit. It is fashion super gone wrong. Okay. And on our number two countdown, we have bare bought jeans. Go online and check out bare bought jeans. I mean, first of all, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say like, um, did I forget that my my the zipper of my jeans wasn't good or what? Because that is what this these jeans actually says. I mean, then later I'm going to say, have you gained some weight? No problem. Unzip your jeans. Seriously, unzip it. I'm not talking about unzipping the front. Unzip the back. Because that's what bare butt jeans is talking about. Who hasn't seen this on on social media? Who hasn't seen this on a fashion runway? She just go online and click on bare butt jean. You get to find out that this jean actually it's like it has a zip at the at the butter side, and then the person unzipped it, and she's walking around with it. That is fashion, baby. That is fashion. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to say that is fashion because I'm the fashionator here. And that is crazy fashion. Seriously, nobody dresses like that. Except on the fashion runway. Which, which brings me to the question. Can people actually wear the clothes on fashion runway in real life? I'm telling it real life because fashion runway, it's like a fantasy world. Where you can virtually go naked and the world is like, oh my god, that's some fashion. Jesus Christ, I can't begin to say it, but virgin, you need to see it. Go online and check it out, and you would see explicitly what I'm trying to explain here. Bare but jean is just stupid. Take it from me. It's a fashion stupid outfit. It's not just fashion gone wrong. It's fashion gone gaga. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I would never wear that. I did rather stay in my room not putting on clothes. <laughs> okay. On our number three countdown. On our first, we talked about ripped stockings, which is like putting on a madman's outfit. And then on our second, we talked about bare butt during, okay, just like the name implies. I don't want to go into that again. That just got me headache. <laughs> On our number three, I thought we just dealt with ripped jean, which was, which was crazy, and we talked about bare butt jeans, which <laughs> I thought was the high top of crazy. Well, guess what, people? We just bumped into the into the bomb here. We just got into where the sugar cane is really, really beginning to taste salty. I mean, think about it. On our number three countdown, we have meat knee jean. Yeah, I said it again. Meet me, Jean. Okay, oh. fashion is a go. <laughs> like I said, meet me, Jean. Did we forget the last time um, Lady Gaga fashion went on went viral? I mean, on the internet, on so on the internet, which includes social media, on television, people were talking about it. People were reading stuff about it when Lady Gaga actually wore a clothes made out of meat like literally meat i mean the one i would say two steaks please one on each meal when i talk about two steaks it's like steaks is something you could it's almost like hot dog but it's not hot dog in case for those who know steaks and are like jesus christ this girl has just said something opposite of steak it's it's meat that you eat really really tasty like steaky steaky tasty that is what somebody is actually using to sew clothes. Like, Jesus Christ, this, this rubbish cannot happen in Nigeria. You remember in my, in my previous show, I talked about African culture, African fashion. Man, seriously, we should give ourselves thumbs up. Because we can never dress this weird, okay? We can never. So let me go back to what I was saying. Meet me, Jean. I mean, the, the rest part of the Jean. The rest part of the jean trouser, it's jean trouser. But on the knee level, it is sold with meat. People, fashionitas out there, I'm not talking about toy meat. 
I'm not talking about paper meat. I'm talking about real meat. I mean, a, a jean trouser on the knee was, or the knee cap was just sold with meat. Meat that I can use to cook a goosey soup, a bono soup. Stew! And it would taste real good. Somebody went along to sew it on a trouser. Really? Have you big have you have you totally become meat freaky or did you just win a bonanza that end you meat for the rest of your life? Come on, share with a brother, please. God, this is not fashion gone wrong. This is just fashion gone into somewhere else entirely. Who wears trousers with meat? Made out of meat. I mean part of the trouser has meat on it. What do you feel like? A meat ambassador? I don't wanna be a meat ambassador if this is what it entails. Okay, fashionitas out there, we have to be serious about this. We have to tell people that their fashion ideas is beginning to make them look like they're coming. That it's it's like the dead come alive, or the walking dead, or the zombies. Because there is no way I am going to allow someone in his right senses put on a meat knee jean. I mean, let me even explain it more. Like the jean trousers we wear, let me say high waist jean now. It's normal. I mean, when you wear it, it's like jean. But when you now look at the knee level, it it is made out of meat. They just cut it open and sold it with meat. Meat too. Like, meat. Okay. Okay, that's beginning to make me wonder if it's, if it's actual meat. And yes, it's actual meat. It's not toy meat. It's not paper meat. It's meat. The one that you cook and you spice and you eat and you're like, mm, tastes real good. That is what somebody actually decided to sew clothes with. Mm. Okay, I just hope our number four countdown wouldn't brush my head the way Mate Jane just did. Wow, 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 wow. I know someone right now just putting his hand on his forehead or her forehead and just wondering where the headache started from. I'm sorry, I think the headache finally hit you on this Mate Nature. <laughs> Let's hope the next countdown is not just going to make us. Pull on our bodies and tell ourselves it's fashion, baby. It's fashion. Get pulling. <laughs> okay, let's see what our fourth countdown has for us. Hmm. Double jeans. Okay, I'm not saying you just wear one jean and wear the other. This one here, the jean is is it's just like one jean and two jeans sewed together you know that kind of outfit where you wear and you or you see someone with it and you're like no you don't have to choose between you 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 don't have to choose between boyfriend and high waist jean you have the both of them combined together i mean when i'm talking about double jeans it's it's this kind of jean where you you wear a high waist jean it's at your waist and then at your um, thigh level, another jean is there. You know that kind of boyfriend jean where you wear it and it's all saggy, it's not very tight on your body. That's what the, the second jean is about. And the first jean is that high waist jean where you feel like fly. Yeah, fashions, fashionitas, um, tailors have now decided to put the two of them together so we don't have to decide what to wear we just get to wear the both of them and we feel relaxed okay let me let me let me say that again we feel relaxed i cannot feel relaxed wearing wearing a, a baggy jean and putting on a high waist jean at, at the same time it's not like you have a choice here they're actually sold together god i wish i could show a picture right now which i think i would upload on social media okay because this is crazy you don't longer have to decide what to wear you both of them are just sewed together double jean where your father's jean is sewed together with your mother's jean and she wears it and at the waist level is very tight <laughs> at the at the below level it feels like she's sagging that is just so crazy it's it still keeps me saying the word now i don't have to choose between boyfriends and high waist jeans guys i just get to wear two of them okay that's very 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 not fashionable okay that's not fashionable it just defines like we have an issue or the person has an issue with with choice and she just decides to wear both clothes yeah that's very very hard pill to swallow i must say very very high okay now i'm going down to our last countdown that's number five <laughs> 
OMG. Okay, I'll be fully clear here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. I cannot believe it, but I can see it and I can say it <laughs> that our number five countdown. Well, did we just have a headache when we talked about um, meet me, Jean? <laughs> did you just think that was the end of weird fashion? Well, I'm sorry, babies, but we just got started with the whole idea of fashion, fashion, fashion. Even when we're beginning to have headache and saying meat sneezing was the worst fashion on earth and it's giving us front headache. Well, I think our number five countdown is not just going to give us the blowout. It's just going to make us stand up and say, I am... Okay, what's the word again? We're just going to hear this number five and we are going to say, Today, it's a responsibility for me to go out there and protest against weird fashion outfits. Because seriously, it's weird. Okay, our number five countdown is clear plastic skirts. Seriously. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I'm about to say this. Clear plastic skirts. You know when you tell yourself, <laughs> do you even know how much women linguists cause these days? <laughs> the world must see my panties. <laughs> that is exactly what clear plastic skirt is all about. Like the word implies clear and it's plastic. It's very, very clear. It's transparent. It's clear. It's obvious. It's, it's just see me through see it through and you don't have issues recognizing what's inside of it clear plastic skirts i mean the girl actually wears it and her language is showing if she's putting on a blue panties well she's about to say hey dude you have to see my panties i mean these babies cost a lot there is no way i'm not gonna flaunt them around yeah if you stay in benin I can't imagine a girl putting on clear plastic skirts in ring road. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna be raped in not just broad daylight, by, but by almost every single male who is passing the street. And if you stay in Lagos, I cannot imagine a girl in clear pas- plastic skirts walking along beggar side. Seriously, what is she asking for? I mean, if I begin to explain or if I begin to say, I don't think I would finish. Sometimes we need to really look at what we are wearing. I mean, not what we are wearing because I don't think most of us will do this shit. We really need to... Fashion fashion icons out there and runway need to look at what they are trying to portray to us. Because we can't wear clear, clear plastic skirts. Let me even explain what this clear a plastic skirt is and how it is. You know... When you sew a skirt, okay, what will I even use to describe it now? Oh, okay, um, pure water cellophane is not clear. Seriously, it's not clear compared to what I'm looking at right now. Our clear plastic skirt today is a type where if you're a cellophane, a white cellophane, a very, very, very white cellophane, you just tie it around your waist side. And you go out there and tell the world, you should look at a new fashion. Men are going to die. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they will be the one dying alone. Someone who is wearing it is going to be the one falling with them also. Because clear plastic skirt is just way over the line. It's way, way over the line. <laughs> that is the one where girls will be like, I bought my panties for um hundred thousand naira there is no way i'm gonna wear something that covers it or where hey if you're one of those girls i would advise you to go wear clear plastic skirt just so you flaunt it in front of us all and tell us hey people you should look at your panties them costing me hundred thousand naira and that is really cool okay in a, in a nutshell in a nutshell some fashion runway outfits are just way over the top they are going too far with what they are doing there is no way someone will want to wear that okay they should just bring out something or everything they are wearing they should bring it out in a way that we can wear it's not just flaunt some certain things that it's only in the movie they can act with it because most of it if you even look at it most of the outfits if it's only in the movie you can act with it you can't really act with it in real life 
anyways that's what i have for us today on fashion uh, on fashion tips okay has fashion gone wrong i want you to comment on every single um topics on every single point i've made here on every single countdown we've talked about has fashion gone wrong what do you think about meat loaf meat outfit or clear plastic skirts or or double waist jeans? just tell me what do you think about it i would like you to drop your comment and also you can like my my show of course what else are you gonna like the page so if I like my show make sure you do that <laughs> Thank you so much for being on this show with me. I dearly and really appreciate the time you spend here. And don't forget, I'm still your one and only fashionable Floxy. Before I round off and before I sign off, here is it. You should follow V Colonial Radio on our Facebook page at V Colonial Radio and on Twitter at V Colonial Radio, also on Instagram at V Colonial Radio. And hey, don't forget Pretty Me. You can follow me on Facebook at Fashionable Fluxy and you can also follow me on Instagram at Fashionable Fluxy. And yeah, that's where you can follow me. Um, so please don't forget to drop your comments on what you think about today's fashion show, which is has fashion gone wrong? If you ask me, <laughs> on the countdown we had. Today, fashion has really, really gone way wrong over the top. Like, seriously, gone wrong. What do you think? Do you have more comments to drop on? Do you have opinions? Do you have suggestions? I would like to hear them. Fashionable Floxy would love to hear everything you have to say. So don't hesitate. Go on there on the comment box and begin typing. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to today's show. 